find x. This angle is what we're looking for. They're telling us that these two lines should be taken as parallel. And they're, asking, they're telling us that the measurement of angle CAD, CAD, this one here, is four times the measurement of angle BAC. BAC. So this angle is four times as big as this one. They're also telling us that the measurement of angle CBE, CBE, which is this one out here, is four times as big as the one that's labeled ABC, ABC. So this one out here is four times as big as this one. Now notice how they're naming the angles. We're going to name, them, name the angles a little bit easier because it's easier to read them. So to simplify things, we're going to go ahead and say that angle BAC, BAC, this one here, we're going to call it Y. And angle ABC, ABC, this one, we're going to call it Z. So this is X, Y, Z. Now, notice if we call this y, we remember they told us this was four times as big. So this would be 4y. We call this z, we'll remember that they told us that this was, was four times the z. So this angle is four times as big as this one. This one is four times as big as this one. Now, that means that this angle from here all the way over here would have to be 5y. This one would have to be 5z. So now, we notice how I removed the triangle. So we could say something about these angles. We'll put the triangle back in there in a while. So they told us these were parallel lines. So these two angles should add up to 180. These are same-sided interior angles. When the lines are parallel, the same-sided interior angles add up to 180. So what we're going to do, since we have a couple of variables, we want to bring down the number of variables by substituting. So first, we state some facts. We know that 5y plus 5z equals 180 because same-sided interior angles when the lines are parallel, always add up to 180. Now, what we're going to do is solve for one of the variables. We're going to solve for the y. Could we have solved for the z? That's fine. Solve for one of the variables. So we're going to solve for the y. So move everything away from the y. Notice we move the 5z away from the y by subtracting both sides by 5z. Now we're going to divide both sides by 5. So divide this by 5, 180 by 5, and this by 5. So it makes it a simpler equation. So now we know that if we see a y out there, it can be replaced with 36 minus z. So we go back to our triangle, and we know that the three angles of any triangle always add up to 180. That's also a fact. So what we're going to do is going to replace the y with 36 minus z. So we could cut, cut down on the variables. Notice that after the substitution, we only have x's and z's. And this time, the z's cancel out. z minus z is 0. And now we could find out what the x is. x plus 36 equals 180. Move the 36 to the other side by subtracting both sides by a 36, and we have x equaling 144 degrees.